קחתי את עיניי היום אל עולם מופלא שסובב אותי אחד It says in the time when they would marry two women or whatever, they also would sit, it has many different conditions, but the, the, that's not the point. The point is that if a person was married 10 years and doesn't have children, so it is a mitzvah that he should marry another woman in order to have children. years without children till he was 100 years old. But it says 10 years after he was the Eretz Kenada. Why? Because the schus of Eretz Yisrael is a whole different world. The fact that he didn't have children in Chutz Laaretz is no proof that he won't have children in Eretz Yisrael. The schus of Eretz Yisrael. I saw something fascinating. You see that Eretz Yisrael is, has a maila even before Am Yisrael was there. Before Matan Teirah, by Avrom Avinu. And just being in Eretz, Eretz Yisrael is something in the Chayre, in my celebrations. <coughs> That is my Eretz Yisrael has a special mind. Similarly, there's a Gemara where one of the Mairoyim asked the question, and the other one told him that he's making a mistake, that it's not the, it's not a problem. He didn't have a, a proper idea, and he was midbayesh. The other one told him was Ravina that answered the question. I remember who asked the question, and he said, "You don't have to be mit Mabaravashi." He says, "You don't have to be midbayesh." It's normal that Rabinah should know and you shouldn't know. Why? Because Rabinah is an Eretz Yisrael. And Avir is Aram Machkim. The Avir of Eretz Yisrael is Machkim. So it's normal that a Babni shouldn't know and a Yushalayim shouldn't know. That the schus of Eretz Yisrael causes understanding and doubt. Why, why am I saying this? Because, you know, it says like this. If somebody lives in Eretz Yisrael, the schus of the yeshiva of Eretz Yisrael Where is it? So what does it mean that Shabbos is Chem Dasayom, the most valuable of all the days? Chem Dasayom. Where is it? Where is it written in the Torah? It's written in the Torah. Yechal Elokim by Yoyim Hashem. Is there such a language in the Bible? That's how it says, right? You say it in Kiddush. So the word by Yechal has a double meaning. The word by Yechal, if you can learn it. That he finished mm -hmm. everything on Yom Hashvi. That's the Yechal Elokim by Yom Hashvi. So the Talmud Yerushalmi says the Yechal is from the language in the pasuk Nichsafa the Gam Kol Sod Nafshi the Chatzru Sashem. The Yechal the Targum Yerushalmi, not the Targum. This, this has Targum Yerushalmi. It doesn't have Targum Yerushalmi. It does. Sure. The Targum Yerushalmi is with Targum. I don't see it here. Is with Targum the Yechal the Chomid. Hashem by Yom Hashem. We have a language of Chemdo. Chemdo. HaKadosh Baruch Hu was Chaymei Yom Hashem. Why is Hashem? If Hashem is Chaymei, it means He had He desired. Chemdo. That's also the Ten Commandments. The Chemdo. Yeah. He, he, he was, he was uh, yearning. yearning for Yom Hashem. Because Hashem wants the Tachlis. We say in Davni, Ato Ki Dashtos Yom Hashem. Tachlis, Masei Shemayim Oretz. It's the Tachlis. Why is it the Tachlis? Because the Tachlis is that a person should be Chaymei HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We are surrounded with a world, a Gashmistic world, that defies the memory of Hashem. A person gets involved in all the person, so Gashmis of Adam Hazer, there's no Luchias, and it's Meshaker for me. It makes him forget that is a creator. It makes him forget his purpose of life. On Shabbos comes along Shabbos. I would say it's a double, you know, you can put it into the Pasuk. We'll, we'll say one, one Pelish leads to the other Pelish. Hashem finished all his Malacha. And this creates a Halacha de Klau Yisrael. We have to rest like Hashem rests. And what's the din on Shabbos? A person had come Shabbos and he has to 
think in his mind, but not only did he show you this in Malacha in his goof, but Ke'ilu Kol Malachdoi Asuya, as if everything is completed. There's nothing, all Malachdoi is Asuya. He just to think, he's just supposed to think of Hashem. Stop all the goals, stop all the running after other things, and forget everything. There's a Kodesh Boruch, there's a, there's a, there's a Tachlis to be, to be dealt with by Kodesh Boruch. Shabbos, the purpose of Shabbos is for Kalal Yisrael to be Chaymei Hashem, to be Chaymei the Tachlis, to have the desire, the right purpose, to free himself of all the blindness and forgetting of the Chubiyas and Gashmiyas of Adam Hazel. That's why it's Chendas Hayomi. It's Chendas Hayomi because it, it's not just the Chenda of the day, the day that Hashem desires, it's the day that we desire Hashem, and it's the purpose of Shabbos is to be Mechaven, to to aim at Chemda, Kodesh Baruch Hu placed the man Chemda, he placed the man passion and desire. It's the Shabbos is to aim the passion and desire away from the physical Eilam Hazar to the Chemda Kodesh Baruch Hu. And so I saw it in a Sefer. Shabbos was given before Matan Shabbos was given. Why was Shabbos given before Matan So somebody says, a man, there was this Medina where everybody <coughs> would die moon. They had moon defects, but they didn't have it too far for the moon. And they didn't, so they, that's it, this is the moon. And he came from a Medina where he had two folks. He comes to the place, he wants to sell his, 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 his two folks to the moon. Medicine, he wants to sell his medicine. But nobody's interested because nobody believes that they can be the Chlala uh, a report, but there is a report in these markets, we never saw it. So he gives one of his medicines for free to one man who has many, many different diseases, diseases and he gives it to him for free, and lo and behold, the, the medicine worked. Oh, so he wants to buy more medicines. Kacha HaKodesh Baruch who came to the world, the world empty of Ruchnius, only Gashmius, we're about Bali Mumu, we don't even know the Bali Mumu. That we have in the Shama and Leona, but we're busy with that sloch of the success of this world. Hashem comes with a tailor to, to, to cure the defects of this world, to attach us to Hashem, which is Lenetzach. Nobody's interested. He came to the tailor to all the Umasailam, none of them are interested. To Am Yisrael, he was Machdim Shabbos. He was Machdim Shabbos. They should be Tayyim Shabbos to, go, to, work, to work, walk away from this world and to remember Hashem. I once saw in the Sefer, unbelievable. It says in the Peter, Vahaftas Hashem and Akechel. How does we say? Bechol Nevavcha, Bechol Napshecha, Bechol Medecha. This I'm going to tell you now, Kamachi. After the Shia, check it out. Ahava, Bechol Leib. Ahava, nine words. Ahava, Bechol Leib. Ahava, Bechol Nefesh. Ahava, Bechol Ma'oid. Like the Pasuk says, right? Is the Gematria 702, which is Shabbos. That's what Shabbos is. Shabbos is a, is a Ritia, a planting of the Nefesh, the Nefesh, the Neshama Yehudi, the Jewish soul which is yearning for HaKadosh Bochu, but gets drowned in the pursuits and the Gashmias of this world. On Shabbos, if he fills out Shabbos, Adkan. Ayachal, like Hashem, complete his melacha, you complete your melacha. Ah, you complete all your melacha, everything's a suya. So now you can turn to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to, to, to turn to the true tachlis. And here that's how we, so we get to Ayachal, Alakim, Ayom Hashvi, Vechamer Hashem, Ayom Hashvi. The two pshotim are dependent one on the other. If we fulfill the mitzvah, if we experience Shabbos, we become the mitzvah of total shvisa on Shabbos, of a turning away from the pursuit of Elam Hazer, the turn to Ruchmias, the turn to the pursuits of the Neshama, such a Shabbos is Bechim, the is Bechom, and that's the Chemda Sayon. The Shabbos is Mechavin, the Chemda of the person, to be Chaymed HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that that's the purpose of the Chemda. So now let's get back. Chazal say like this, Chavivim Yisrael, it's a Mishnah in Mesech HaSobis, Peregimu, Mishnah Yudal. Chavivim Yisrael, Shemitain Lahem Klei, Shemitain Lahem Klei Chemda. The clay chemda is a kli of chemda. Kli of chemda to receive the table. Hashem gave Shabbos before the Am Yisrael, that's like the Moshe, we'll go back to the Moshe. And the man that comes with the cure, he gives one cure as a Matana, one should know what the power of his, his, his cures, his drugs are, are, are 
giving. Hashem gave us a drug to be zaychet to netzach, to escape the womb and the effects of this physical world, of this Eilam Eiver. He gave us the Torah. But in order we should appreciate what the Torah is, he was Maktim Shabbos. Shabbos is the clay chemda. The kli to receive the Torah is the chemda, the desire to have a keshu of HaKadosh Baruch That's the kli. According to how much a person creates a chemda in himself, to, to be zaychet to Torah, to get the Torah, he gets Torah. The posseh that the Mishnah brings is to lekach toi nasati lechem. Toi wasi ata zayim. Toi is ain toi vela atayu. Ain tega kodesh bochum. Tega shem akor. Lekach toi. What's lekach toi? The kli to, 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 to take the toi. The tool, the plier to take the toi. Lekach toi. When Hashem gave us the teira, He didn't only give us the teira. He gave us the tools to receive the Torah. He gave us the kalim that we should have where to receive the Torah. The, the Uma Sa'ilam didn't have the kalis. They said, what, what, who's interested in the Torah? But by us, he gave us the kalim as well. Kilekach Torah. Hashem, when he gives the Torah, he gives a person also the kalim to be able to take the Torah. And the kli to take the Torah is the chemdesat Torah. And chemdesat Torah is to turn away the chemdesat Torah from Ilm Hazan. The chemdesat Torah and Hazan and chemdesat Torah, these are two opposites. Like it says, you know, it says the Rebbe called, in, in Yoyim Lecha, I went to Abshat, there's a new one we give it. In Yoyim Lecha Adam, the person will tell you that Yerushalayim is built and Rome is destroyed, believe it. If he will tell you that Rome is built and Yerushalayim is destroyed, believe it. But if he tells you that Rome is built and Yerushalayim is built, he's a shot. What's the shot? Kid, don't believe it. Can't. Rome represents, you know, that Esau and Yankov, they divided up. One to call him Abor, one to call him Azir. Rome represents the Ahava and the Tavot, all the passion, desires of physical success in this physical world. Chayim, material, the material of this world. Yushalayim represents the pursuit of Aves Hashem, the love of Hashem. If somebody tells you that he sees Aves Hashem is built, and, the, and, the, and this world has lost its value in the person's eyes. He doesn't, he doesn't give value to this world. He sees the, the, the fallacious, the falsehood of the promises of the Yitzhahara. Believe it. If you see a person that by him Rome is built, it means the Abbasayim of Hazel is built, but you see that he's lost his Erech from Ruchnius, it's also possible. It's one of the two. But if he thinks he can have Shtei Shulchanas like he has he has no, he has, he loves Elam Azeb and he loves Elam Abo, he loves both, he loves Hashem, he loves Elam. That Rome is built and Yushalayim is built, these two things don't go together. Like you can't have in one Kli, Eish and Mayim, you can't have Aves Hashem and Aves Elam Azeb. They are two opposites. And that's the Klei Chemda, I've told you, Chabim Yisrael Shikim, Klei Chemda. Shabbos is the Klei Chemda. Shabbos is an opportunity. If a person has Kedusha Shabbos, it helps him to tear as well. And here I'd like to, like to put together two drushes on the very first word of the Torah. Because the Torah, the purpose of the Torah is to bring us closer to Hashem. In the very first word of the Torah, Bereshis, there's the, the, the Zoya, Dashens, the Oisius of Bereshis, is Yerosh Shabbos. Yerosh Shabbos. Fear Shabbos. We've forgotten what this means, Fear Shabbos. The Gemara tells us that the Amaratzim in the time of the Gemara, Amorits, when it was Chayshin and Amoritz, when he didn't trust the Amoritz, and maybe he didn't separate the, the Tuma, the Tumas Maisa from this thing. But if you ask them on Shabbos, they made the Mai. They made Xayr and after eat food or produce of the Amoritz. But if you ask them on Shabbos, if he was Mafrish, if he separated it, and he told you on Shabbos that he separated it, so it says you're allowed to believe him. Why? Amos Shabbos alone, the fear of Shabbos is upon him, he won't lie on Shabbos. We're very far. From the even Tamid Chachamim, from the the Amorites of the Gemara, the the Kedusha of Shabbos, the raw Shabbos, Shabbos had to be put on him the fear of Hashem. The Balaturim says another pshat in Shabbos. Interesting, he darshens the Nutrikin. Nutrikin means the letters. The first the, the first letter of says the word gracious. The six letters of gracious is like this: Bari Beis Bari Shona. Immediately at first, even before creating the world. You're listening? Mr. What's your name again? Shwaki. Shwaki. Borishoina. At first, base, Borishoina. Ro, so, all of his kale. She a kabu, the shin is she a kabu, that Israel, tail. 
What did Hashem see at first before He even created the world? He created the world because He saw the purpose of the world was for us to keep the faith. But He showed us raw tale she kept in so faith. So we have a hint in the word gracious, the mitzvah of Shabbos and the mitzvah of Taylor. These two things go in the Hebrew. The Shabbos gives us the kalim, the kalim, the vessel to receive the Taylor. Because the Tanai, the condition to receive the Taylor is Avas Hashem. Avas Hashem, like, like it says, the haktoma to the mitzvah, the introduction to the mitzvah, bring that Taylor in Krishna. We say like that. Hashem and then, in the words of Hashem, will be chashet to you, will be important to you, you will put them, you will put them upon your heart. There's we're in a constant muhamma between following this world, the, the person of this world, and the the, the pituyim. How do you say to you in English? Seductions. What? Seductions. Oh, very good. The seductions of this world, constant seductions of this world, being a physical goof and being in a physical world, they forget, I'm a shakeach, make a person forget his true tachlis. His true tachlis. And Shabbos was given as a gift for a person. There's no business on Shabbos. There's no, uh, no terrorists of panos on Shabbos. So the purpose of Shabbos was not just to fill your bed and your stomach with eating instead of business, because then they're making it again a day home in a certain sense, even though there's a mitzvah on Shabbos. It's not just to fill the stomach and to sleep. The Shabbos is the purpose of Shabbos is really to turn to Hashem, to have time, to turn to Hashem, to go to Hashir, to turn to Ruchmius, even the eating, to think that when he's eating, it's a mitzvah to remember that Hashem created the world, and the world was created, but the world was created for a practice. This is the this is the, the purpose of Shabbos, and that's why it goes hand, hand in hand with Limen Atayim. You know that Shabbos is a time for tshuva, because it says the word Shabbos. You can read it Shavto, Shavtos to return. If you want a hint to this message, in Tvilas Musaf, if you notice, if you notice in Tvilas Musaf, we have the Tvila Tikanta Shabbos, and we have Tvilot which go. Every word is according to the order of the alphabet, but here it's unusual. Instead of going the Aleph Beis straight, Aleph Beis Gimel, he count the Shabbos is according to the Aleph Beis, but it's the Aleph Beis backwards. You have to know it. He count the Shabbos, Tav, Shin, Ratzisa, Kavriseo, Reish, Kut, Siviso, and it goes on and on, Perusheo, etc. It's the Aleph Beis, it's the whole Aleph Beis backwards. What is the concept of the Aleph Beis backwards? Hashem created the world with the letters of the Taylor. Like it says, Yudeya Haya Betzalah, Betzalah, the Pitum Duk, the Mishkan, you need to put the letters of the Taylor together, the letters that Hashem created in the world. That Aleph Beis in order represents the flow of Hashem to this world. Aleph Beis backwards is returning the world to a Kurdish world. Shabbat, that's what Chuba is, to return to Hashem. Chuba, Shabbat is the Shabbat, is to return to Hashem. It's to give the world that in our, in our das, it's as well, as well. It's to return the world to the one that created. It's to say to Hashem, we remember now suddenly the world doesn't belong to us. It belongs to you, you created. That's what Shabbos is. It's an ice on the very earth. And that's tshuva. To begin to return, to go back to our Kurdish world. Shabbos is a young shoot tshuva. And that's within the word Shabbos. If you read it without the, 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 the vowels, shafta. Shafta, the word shafta means to return. And a greater madrek is to return. When a person returns to Hashem, so he's embarrassed this is, of his forgetting Hashem. So we have as well in Shabbos the word boishas. The letters of Shabbos make boishas. That's another madrek. It says if a person did an avera and he was misbayish mimenu, and he had shame, it's nimchalei kol avinu That's already another madrek. And he's so sensitive to, to his going against Hashem that he's, it brings him to the point of embarrassment. Like Ezra says, he said, boishli v'nechlamsi v'horim v'nei anas. Anyway, I saw in the safe, I'll finish with this. Shabbos Amalka, Shabbos, the expression Shabbos Amalka, Shabbos the Queen. But it's very interesting. Shabbos is Boishas, and the bigger Madrega Boishas is Klima. The Nobis says Boishas Nechlampi. Klima is like the face turned white. Malka is Isis in the same letters as Klima. 
that Shabbos and Malkin, when the person gets to a point that he's oymed with Nei Hashem to the point that he's misbayish in Islam, from his being far from Hashem, then he can, that's a clea, then he, then he enters the beginning of the level to taste Shabbos and Malkin. When the Baish is from being far, far from Hashem begin, that's where, the, 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 that's where Shabbos, that's the entry to Shabbos and Malkin. That's the beginning of tasting Shabbos as a boon. Isn't there a reason to be happy on Shabbos? Question, please. Where was Ahava Bekole? Ahava Bekole. Where, where is that written? Uh, where is it written? First of all, it's based on the Pasuk. Who says this gematria? That's your question. Who is Mechadish? No, no, no. I'm just saying, is there a Pasuk or is it based on the Pasuk? It's based on the Pasuk. Ba'at Hashem Bechol Avachcha, Bechol Nafshecha, Bechol Midecha. So we just take out the 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 Ahav To, Ahavo. We speak it as a subject. Ahava Bechol Leib, Ahava Bechol Nefesh, Ahava Bechol Mod. The subject of the Pasuk. Got it. Yeah. Second question, you were talking about the creation being the, the Kaven. Is that based on what the, the Bahir references, Tohu Rubohu, as the initial creation is Kaven, that they couldn't hold things? Is that what you were referring no, to? No, no. I'm saying that we were given a vessel to hold the Torah. Our vessel to hold the Torah is to turn our passion and desire towards Hashem and to see the falsehood and the emptiness of this world. I want to end with one more thing. In fact, if we begin talking again, I want to end with one more thing. I saw something very, very, very sweet. The Beis HaLevi, Rabbi Yosef Beis HaLevi, asks a question, a contradiction in the behavior of man. It's not a question there. Man is full of contradictions. But he asks this question. What is more important, money or health? We see a contradiction. Why? When people want to make panasa, people will endanger their lives to make money. They won't think of the health. If they see the money in front of them, everything's forgotten. I, it's a danger. They do unbelievable things to make money. On the other hand, when a person, a person has money and he doesn't have health, he'll give up all his money in order to be healthy. So what's going So which is more? So we have. So let's decide which one is more, more important. Is money more important than health, or health more important than money? A person is ready to give all his money for health to be healthy, and a person is ready to give all his health to make money. He says no contradiction. You know why? <coughs> Because the difference is between money you, may, you want to make or money you already possess. The whole power of the Yetzirah is what you don't have. As soon as you have it, you don't value it. To make money, you have the dream that this is going to save your life, it's going to take damage, it's solve all your problems in life. So it's the most valuable thing in the world. The money you don't possess is more, is more valuable than health. That's the power of the Yetzirah. Money you possess? And the, 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 the usher, as soon as he possesses the money, doesn't give him any satisfaction. So what you already possess, of course you already can give it all up. But help, help is more important. There's no contradiction. The answer depends if you have it or if you, or if you dream of having it. If you're trying to have it, then it's more valuable than help. If you have it already, of course help is more important. Because then you then then, 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 then you know the shekel of Elam Hazard. All Elam Hazard is like that. Its whole value is as long as you don't have it, you dream of having it. As soon as you have it, it doesn't give you any pleasure. Sure. And I'll end up with one more thing I read once in a book, in a magazine. They, they made a statistics, they followed up people that won money in Mithala Pais. They must have fell on them suddenly 10 million, 20 million. Did it make them happier in life? So they said, for the first few months, they were in, in euphoria, you know, stuff, all this money coming and everything, dreaming that, oh, after a few months, all the problems they had before returned. It didn't make any change in their life whatsoever. They were... Like those that had problems and had unhappiness and problems didn't solve any problem. I'd come. Thank you.